hello you guys welcome to my channel and my first video Woo! so exciting oh my god anyways today i'm going to show you guys how to make lipsticks lip glosses or lip tars whatever you would like to call them the point is these are super pigmented and after you make these at home you are not going to want to purchase lip products in the near future because you could pretty much make any color at home okay without being said if you would like to see how i make these just keep on watching So the first thing you're going to need is eyeshadows. I know you were thinking crayons, but guess what? I'm not having that crayon baloney here because it's just not pigmented enough. And this 120 palette has been sitting for ages in my room and it hasn't been used. So I'm going to put these babies to use. The second thing you're going to need is chapstick. I'm using beeswax because I want my consistency to be thick and velvety. Alright, you're also going to need lip gloss. I'm just going to use this clear basic lip gloss and this is from L'Oreal. And of course, you need something to mix the product on and something to mix with. Alright, so the last thing you need is just a container to put your product in. I got this at the 99 cent store, it was like a dollar and there was actually paint originally in here and I just popped them out because ain't nobody got time or money for real containers. Alright, let's get to the fun part now. You're going to start scraping off your chapstick with your little spatula and you don't need that much, just a decent amount. For lip gloss, you're going to add twice as much. Alright, so here what I was trying to do was pop the product out. I thought it would be a little bit easier. Well, so I thought and then BAM! This is what happened and so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to scrape the product off even if it takes longer. Alright and that's all you need. Now just start mixing it. Um, keep mixing until you see that there's little to no chunks left. Now that my product is ready, I'm just going to put it into my container. So at this point, I figured it would have just been easier to mix the product in the container. So to make your life easier, just do that. And this is how my first lipstick came out. Okay, I know what you're thinking, it's not the same color, but it is, it's just the lighting is different. Don't judge me, it's my first video, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but regardless, I love the color. Now I'm going to go for this purple shade. I've always wanted to own a purple lipstick, but I feel that I wouldn't wear it often, so since I'm not going to buy one, I'm just going to make my own girl. And you know the drill, just mix, mix, mix. Perfect. This is the color I was looking for. And this is a swatch on the lips. I really like it. I feel like I wouldn't use this on a daily basis, but this is something I would wear with like a completely black outfit and then with that purple pop of color on my lips. I really like it. I've been wanting one of these lipsticks, so I'm excited. All right, now I'm just going to go for a shade of brown and see how this comes out. Now I know this color looks really dark brown and it doesn't look appealing, but it's not that bad, I promise. I don't know why this camera or this lighting is picking up the color so dark. I know it looks like legit rich brown dookie, <laughs> I know, but it's actually a really nice color and I like it. It's one of my favorites. When I first put this on, I really didn't like it. I thought it looked just looked like straight up chocolate. I don't not understand why I didn't like this color. Now that I'm actually looking at it, I like it a lot. So, I don't know what the heck was wrong with me. It's just ignore my faces. Whatever. Yes. 
So for my next color, I'm going to go with the soft pink. I'm not going to go for the darkest pink or the lightest pink, but somewhere in between. I'm going for a nude color, so I'm going to add some eyeshadow base. Or you could use concealer or whatever you want. I'm just using eyeshadow base because it was the first thing in hand. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with some more of the eyeshadow base because I'm not getting the color I want. So just keep playing with the colors until you get the color that you pretty much want. Okay, so I'm satisfied. This is the color that I want. So I'm done. So this is how it is swatched on my lips. I really like this color. This is like a basic just nude. And I feel that it reminds me a lot of Myth by MAC. So I'm really happy with this color. Okay, I want to make pink now. But not just like a basic pink. I want to go for a fuchsia pink. So I'm going to use this color right here. This color didn't come out the pink I thought it was going to come out. It came out more like a red color, but it has a pink undertones to it. But I'm not disappointed. I still like it a lot, and this is something I would definitely wear. So I'm happy with this one too. Alright, I have one quick disclaimer. I know there's paint in my hair, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really bugging me. I hope it's not bugging anybody. I'm not about to record this video all over again, so whatever. I'm just going to have to deal with it. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to try a red color now, so let's see how that comes out. Alright, good. Now you can see the difference between the red and the pink. This is more like of a, um, it has like, a, it's like a fire red. It has orange undertones, and I really like it. Like, actually, you know what? I know I'm saying I really like every that all of them, but I do. I will seriously wear all these colors. I am not kidding, and I will make them all over again because I am in love with every single shade so far. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that brown again, but I'm just gonna add a bit of pink now, and let's see what I come up with. all right so this is the color and oh my god you guys i am obsessed with it it is so nice this is definitely one of my favorite colors it's really like a mauve color and that's really in right now so this is wow this is my favorite so far i just love it this is totally something i would wear literally every single day i love colors like this now last but not least i'm gonna make a vampy red more like a like a blood red so i'm gonna use um some red and a little bit of black wow this is so pretty look at that i just love it Seriously, every single one of these colors is just, I love them so much. They're so beautiful. So this is Watch on the Lips. I really like how this color came out. It is a deep blood red and I am just in love with it. Alright, and that is it for this DIY video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys try this at home because it is very inexpensive, easy, and fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel.